guys, it's Sudi here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this Hatsune Miku Figma. This is the Hatsune Miku V4X Figma. I really love this design of Miku, of her like, normal outfit. I think it looks really cute and I probably like it more than her original outfit here. This is the, I believe the first generation Hatsune Miku Figma, which I like and I think she's cute, but um, the only thing is I don't really like her face plates. This is one of her faces and her other face looks really scary. Oh, she's really dusty right now, I'm sorry. But for this Figma, I really love her faces that she comes with and I just think that this outfit is really nice. So yeah, also I was very surprised to see um, how small this Figma box is. It is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. So I guess they're doing the same thing as like Nandroids are doing and they're really making the boxes a lot smaller. It doesn't come with too much, but it does come with a microphone and her guitar. And I think that's pretty much all it comes with apart from the usual like faces and different hands and stuff. So it's kind of a more smaller Figma. So yeah, let's just free her from her box and see what she looks like. Here she is. She is so cute! There's so much plastic! It's like around her tie, there's some around her hands, around her headbands, around her uh, skirt. The only thing I don't like about this um, V4X type of Miku look is that they made her hair look a lot thinner, which a lot of people also complained about. Like. They made Miku like balding. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad, but it just, I, I don't, like it just kind of looks like she has like two strands of hair. They did make Miku's hair a lot thicker in the uh, latest uh, Miku design thing, which is nice. <laughs> also, this just feels really nice. I just, I love just like playing with Figmas just because they feel so like, great, you know? And you want them to feel nice too, being such expensive uh, yet small figures. They gotta feel nice and this feels really great. I love her face in all of these face plates. It just looks super cute. These figmas are extremely poseable. Um, her pigtails can move easily as well. I would be careful with these though because since they are so thin, I would be worried about breaking them if you do be a bit rough on them. I feel like that's a big problem with Miku figures in general, is that the pigtails are really always a part that could break very easily, especially in Nendroids too. Her skirt is very cute. It also has this kind of shiny, kind of plastic material on like her skirt, her um, arm sleeves and her boots and shoes as well. Also her hair and her tie as well. It just looks a lot shinier. But it looks really nice. I actually really love that. All right, we've got her other stuff over here. So we've got her other face plates. We've got like an open mouth one and a waking one, which both look really cute. I like them a lot more than my other Miku Figma. Um, this is the microphone stand for her microphone. So she can hold the mic or you can put it on the stand. She comes with four extra pairs of hands. So, you know, not too many, but um, I think that's a good amount. She's got her stand, of course. And here is her guitar, which looks so cool. That looks awesome. And then also it comes with a little Figma resealable bag, which I actually didn't know Figma still came with these, to be honest. <laughs> I thought only old ones came with these. I feel like I just haven't seen them in so long. Like. Am I wrong? Did they make a bunch of them without the bag and then they just, did they bring the bag back? Like, I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just imagining that, but you guys can let me know. So here's her guitar. It looks super cool. Um, it's missing its strings though. <laughs> Very cool and shiny. It's got a guitar strap, which is also an interesting material. You can take the strap off too if you want to like replace it or anything like that. Also, one of her hands does have a guitar pick in it, which is very cool. Alright, so here's Miku on her stand. It does fit her perfectly, which is always nice when it actually fits and they don't fuck it up like they often do. Oh my god, she looks so cute though. I love her. This is definitely a really great addition to your Miku collection. So you can really see the differences. I feel like the original one just looks a bit more cartoony maybe. So yeah, this is just a short review, but thank you guys for watching and I'll go through some pictures of her now.